Next up is a company with a mission to fairly compensate its laborers. Hi Sharks, my name is Margaret Nyamumbo. I live in New York City. Today, I'm seeking $350,000 for 5% of my company, <laughs> wow. Kahawa T93 Coffee. Sharks, did you know that the best coffee in the world grows in Kenya? I would know. I grew up on my grandfather's coffee farm in Kenya. Us Kenyans were very proud of the coffee that grows on our soil. But there's a catch. The farmers don't always make enough for the delicious coffee that they produce. In fact, 90% of the labor in coffee comes from women. But so many are not compensated because they don't own the land. That's why I created a new way to compensate the coffee farmers. At Kahawe T93, we source our coffee directly from women farmers in Africa. But that's not all. We go one step farther. Our customers can tip the coffee farmers and we match the tips. So sharks, who's ready to brew a coffee revolution? Share the wealth and change the story of coffee for good. So we have over 16 different coffees. Robert, I know you like a dark roast. I and do. we have an African spice coffee, which is uh, chai spices. It's a very popular coffee drink in Kenya. Oh, that's a good coffee. Yeah. I I'm a tea girl, but that's a good cup of coffee. <laughs> yeah. And Emma, then... you don't drink coffee? I'm English. I like a cup of English breakfast tea. Oh, I don't know how you survive. That iced coffee is very oh, smooth. That's, that's really right. nice. Yeah, it's it's I'm going to give you 9 out of 10 on the coffees. I'm very, very, very particular about my coffee. I'm glad to hear that. And when you say a leave a tip, how do they leave a tip? Yeah, who leaves the tip? And by the way, I think that's brilliant. I want to un understand the tip. How does yeah. that even work? Yeah, on the back of the bag, um, there's a QR code that the customer scans and it takes them to a landing page where they can enter their information and leave the tip. What happened in 1893? So that's when uh, coffee was first commercially grown in Kenya. So coffee is originally from East Africa. Kahawa means coffee in Swahili, by the way, which is the language that we speak in Kenya. So with Kahawa 1893, we're celebrating the rich origins of coffee um, in Africa. But explain why the female farmers are not properly remunerated in, in country. Yeah, it comes down to the cultural context. In Kenya, the male member of the household typically owns the land. Um, and so when we buy coffee, uh, the payments go to the male member of the household. But the female member of the household is the one that's doing the work, doing the harvesting, the processing. And who wow. gets the tip? When we send the tips, we've made it very clear that these are for the women. So the men respect that and oh, support okay. that. And the men are okay with that. And, and yeah, they're okay with that, yeah. How much have you donated via tips from your customers and that you've also matched? So how much in total? Yeah, so right now we've done $10,000 and we've matched another $10,000. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. Okay, that has now, wait, wait, I, I'm fascinated though because you said you came from this. Yeah, so, so I grew up there and I got a scholarship to come to the U.S. for undergrad. So I went to undergrad, I ended up uh, going to do my MBA at Harvard. Actually, I should wow. mention Amber, I was in London, so I studied abroad at the London School of Economics because I got Good really interested in, wow. in, uh, in economics. But you got into Harvard. After Harvard, I actually went to work on Wall Street. Just talk to us a little bit about that journey because it must have been really difficult to come from Africa and go to school in this country. Yeah, I mean, I didn't know anyone in the US. When I arrived here, I had $200 in my pocket. Um, when I got my scholarship, um, I, my parents actually didn't have my, enough money for a ticket, so my village, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> they fundraised. Oh, oh, wow. They fundraised to get you here. Oh. It's so amazing. Nice. You deserve it. Thank you. I'm very impressed, but I want to go back to the business. You're putting a value of $7 million on this business. I hope you have a lot of sales. <laughs> we do, we do. So? so, last 12 months, we've done $2 million. Wow. wow. Yes. Uh, year to date, we're at 1.3 million. We're wow. hoping to finish the year at 4 million. And Four. next year, we'll do 10 million. How are you selling? What? Margaret, tell us how you're selling. How did you sell 2 million? How will you do 4 million? 
How do you sell it? Our business is through 85% right now grocery and wholesale 85. and 15% direct to consumer. Okay. Last year, um, we launched in Trader Joe's. Uh, we actually became the oh. first black woman owned coffee brand to ever launch in Trader Joe's or in a national chain. Right after that, other retailers came calling. So Target, Sprouts. Wow. Oh my God. What do you sell it for? What does it cost? We have four SKUs that we sell at grocery. You're gonna spend $14.99. Why don't you walk us through the margins? So Yeah, so we sell them $8 to the grocery store. Yes. Uh, wholesale. And then uh, we, it costs us about $5, five wow. uh, all Wow, that's in. not good margins. I just wanna know how much pre-tax profit you're gonna make this year. So on the, on the four million, we're hoping to make about 600,000. On the two million for the last 12 months, what did you make on that? Uh, on the two million, I made about one, 150,000. That's really, really amazing. Uh, you're a very impressive woman. I get it, you've done a heck of a job and coffee, um, You've established Starbucks me. is still a growth stock, by the way. So they're valued at 5x. Starbucks is a growth uh, stock. The good news is the product and the story is good. Yeah. To scale this business for an investor to get a return, when I give you 350,000, I want a 10x. The only way that happens is you scale to pass 50 million in sales and a bigger brand with distribution buys you. It's a commodity business, all right? You're not worth $7 million today. The problem with this more. deal, just to What's be- more? Yeah, she's <laughs> worth more. I'm, just, I'm yeah. just looking at it as an investor, okay? You've asked for too much money. That's the problem. Too much money. She hasn't asked for enough no, money. She hasn't asked for enough. Enough for five percent. If, if I'm going to give you three hundred fifty thousand, I think this business is worth about two million bucks right Kevin, now. Kevin, you're out of your mind. No, Kevin. get out of town. You're no, it's not. Mind. That's crazy. Uh, it's not. It's, it really. It's a commodity. You can tell which one of you two has the MBA and went to a good school. <laughs> <laughs> Mark, the good news is you get to make an offer because I'm out. Wow. Oh, there you go. Wow. You are going to need a lot more than 350,000. And if I get on yes. board with you, we are gonna be raising money immediately. So, I have an offer for you. I am willing to give you the 350,000, but I'd like you to consider that for 12 and a half percent of your business. Thank, thanks for the offer, thanks for the offer. I wanna point something out. <laughs> I said earlier, I thought you were worth two million. Her offer is a 2.8 million valuation. She's giving you a bonus above me of $800,000, but it's 2.8 million, not seven. Okay. Deal with that, MBA. Yeah. So, so basically, so what I want to say is that I have knowledge. Well, you know, you've got an offer here, so. Yeah, I have an offer. Thank you for the offer. Just saying, just waving my hands over here. Margaret, I love the story. I don't know if I'm the good lead investor. I think having a female run business gives you a lot of advantages, and I think you can scale that. But I want to be involved. And I do think you're gonna need more money. So I'm gonna make you an offer. If you accept Emma's offer, I will give you an additional 350,000 for 12 and a half percent. So 350,000 from Emma for 12 and a half, and I'll give you an additional 350,000 for 12 and a half percent. That's unique. So that'll be 25%. So the total will got. be 25%. Okay. Listen, you need more cash. You, you have something magical happening but it's not gonna last. Like yeah. while you have this magic, exactly. you gotta go. Yeah. You gotta pour fuel on this fire. Yeah. Now, can, can we, let, let's focus on this offer because you've done something extraordinary in the Shark Tank. You've got double here. $700,000, are you willing to, in any scenario, give up 25% of your company for that? I'll simplify, Margaret. Look, I think you're phenomenal. You're a superstar. There's a thousand reasons to go into business with you. But to do the things that you've defined to be where you want to go, you're looking at having to raise $50 million, possibly 100%. or even more, right? Which and is, we will. And, and that, yeah. I'm not saying you can't do it. You obviously can, right? But that's just typically not the type of business I like to invest in. I like to invest in businesses that grow more organically as opposed to go out and raise, raise, raise to try to you know hit grand slams. For those reasons, I'm out. Thanks, Mark. But you still have two offers. So I have two offers. I just need to check if Lori is you know, still in I'll play. Tell you, I wish Margaret, I had a watch I mean, no kidding, you're, right? I think that you have very good offers. And because you have such a great offer from them, Lori, I think I'm going to go but, out. 
When Mark's sitting here talking to you about raising more capital, it's really difficult for black women to get yeah, access to that yeah, capital. Yeah. But guess who's sitting right in front of you? Me. I know. Who has done so it? So why have you not said over yes? Over and over yeah. again. So honestly, yeah. like time's I'm, ticket. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. The decision is the 25%. Are you going to do it or not? Um, so 25% is on the higher side than I came in um, looking for. What's your counter? What do you want to do? Um, 8%. No. Would you be I'll take the half off and do it for 12%. <laughs> <laughs> if the half's the thing oh that's God. troubling you. Um, Come on, you've got it like, seriously, I so, think that you really have to Emma, think about this you, one. I'm, I'm worried about giving that much equity at, at this point. Um, but I'm wondering whether you, do you want to do something more creative? No. No, I don't. So I'm, not into, I'm not into the royalties. I don't want to fanny around. I think that you've got a really, really great brand. Yeah. I'm into you and the story that you've got. So you have to make a decision based What's on counter, that. What's your counter, Margaret? If you wanted to do some of that as debt. Um, so let's say you wanted to do a 200 as debt and then 150. No, I want to do the deal I've set out with you. Okay. That's how I prefer to do it. Straight oh. forward. I'm not a complicated girl. Margaret, I love coffee. I mean, Emma doesn't even drink coffee. Yeah, so Robert, I really want you the deal, but you were contingent on Emma, right? What was your counter? What is the counter? 8%. Eight, eight the counter is- Just so everybody's is, on the same yeah, page, yeah. right? So it's 8% in equity and $150,000 in cash and $200,000 in debt. Yeah, that's the counter. I can do that counter. So you can do that. And then Robert, are you, are you able to do the same deal or you want to do something different? I'll do the oh, same. No, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll do, do the, the same, same thing too. Oh, 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 oh come on. Oh but Margaret, you don't you. need to have three sharks. I mean, so you don't need to give up that much No, I'm, I'm not arguing with that. It's just, you know. that's your option. I do that deal too. Everybody <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean? You choose your sharks. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, that's what this comes down yeah, to. Yeah, it comes down to how much equity are you... This is about you being decisive in this moment. And yeah, you yeah, have yeah. to show the decisiveness. You've yeah, got yeah, yeah. four so sharks just, here. Okay. So now I have to pick the sharks. Look, it's getting very complicated. I'll give you the 350000 for 8%. Oh! Equity. That's no exactly debt. Look that's exactly, that. You don't need that. <laughs> that's, that's, yeah. Let me make this really, yeah. really simple for you. Yeah. I will do the deal. 350 for 8% faster. Okay. And I get two sharks? No, you get you one. You get one shark. <laughs> you want to do a deal over there, that's a separate okay. thing. I'm telling you, 350 for 8%. For 8%. Robert, thank you so much for your offer. I really appreciate it. But I'll accept your offer. Yeah! Good job. Good job. We got there. Yeah. Oh my God. It was a winding road. <laughs> You did it. Well done. Oh, thank you. Oh, what a sweet Congrats, Emma. Congrats, Margaret. Well Appreciate done. It. Very well done. So this is such a dream come true for me, really getting Emma and another black woman uh, supporting me and mentoring me and, you know, supporting all the other uh, women farmers that we work with. They're going to be so excited.